we're going to show you the basic setup for a TENS unit to vagal stimulate using the ear and then also how to combine that with a ResiMax. So this is going to be mostly focused on sensory stimulation, not so much motor. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the left hand, you're going to have the negative lead with the little sticky, you're going to put that on the inside of the wrist. You're going to get one of these little ear clips. You can order both of these on Amazon. This is the 10 7000. It's just easy. It has knobs to use. So we're going to basically put the little clip right here. The rubber side is going to go on the inside just like that. Okay. That's the positive lead on the ear. And then what you're going to do is you're going to turn it on until the patient can actually feel it. So tell me when you can feel it. Okay. All right. She can feel it there. It can become uncomfortable. So what we'll do is just take it down uh, below her perception. Okay. So now she can't really feel it, but she's still getting current into that vagal nerve. And that remember the vagal nerve, if you look here, is actually the sensory branch of the vagal system is actually in the inner ear system. Okay, so it's on the inner ear skin surface. So that gets right next to that area. Um, the other thing is uh, this TENS unit, it's probably about 30 bucks on Amazon, so you can get that there. Um, once, if you have an infant and you don't know how much stimulation to give, err on the side of caution. But if you move up slow and it is a brain injured um, child that can't communicate, you'll, you'll probably see a very, you know, some kind of like pain reflex. You should see some type of pain reflex. You have to kind of look at that. But if you just put the dial on like one, they probably won't even have a reaction, but you know it's on, it's getting some current. So once I have that on, I'm stimulating the left brain stem, left vagal system, that's gonna go to the heart, it's gonna go to the digestive system, it's gonna basically activate more of the parasympathetics as long as it's not up too high, right? Um, so now we know we're influencing left brain stem, right higher level brain. Then we're gonna take the ResiMax, we're gonna turn it on, and it's gonna be the lowest frequency when you turn it on. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna start with the face. And so we're gonna get the rooting reflex and we're gonna also press on right here between the nose, the lip, that's called the filtrum, okay? So you might see some different reflexes with the lips when we do this, but we're just gonna do, we're gonna do about 20 from the ear to the mouth, the corner of the mouth. And when this is positive reflex, which you don't wanna see after about 12 months or so, I mean, that would be um, a late sign. So you would see her lip on the left side kind of lift up a little bit when I scrape. So you'd see a little bit of movement on this side. So we would do this typically three times a day and eventually what you'll see is that it'll get uh, less and less as you do it. And that's really the goal. But for now, we're just gonna do about 20 reps here because we're trying to stimulate twice as much on the left. We'll say that's 20 and then we'll do 10 on this side, okay? Same thing, ear to the corner of the mouth. Then we're gonna go through the filtrum and you may just need to use your finger you can also, if you don't have a vibration device, you can use uh, even like a paintbrush or something that's very light, right? Cause you're just trying to stimulate the skin, but I'm gonna use the vibration and I'm gonna just press very lightly right here. And what you might see as well is you might see the lips kind of make kind of like a kissing pucker type look when you stimulate that spot. And again, we, we don't wanna see that. We wanna see that go away. So we're gonna keep stimulating until eventually that goes away and stays gone, okay? Cause we're gonna bury that reflex. So once we get done with the face, we're gonna move on to the hands. What you'll see here is we're just gonna start with just doing some X's, okay? You can also use a little paintbrush here. Vibration I like is gonna be more stimulating, but again, if the person's very sensitive, you might just do uh, like a little paintbrush or very light touch without vibration first. So a positive reflex though, if I do this, she's gonna kind of close her hand like that, or you might see just again, just some finger uh, uh, flexion, uh, some movement in there so you know there's definitely some sensitivity still in that system that reflex is probably still there once i do about 10 to 20 i'm going to do 20 on the left because we want to do twice as much then i'm going to go down to the fingers i'm going to start from the wrist and i'm going to work my way all the way down to the fingertips just like that and so again if i don't see if i see a reflex with the low vibration uh, and then it starts to go away as i do this i might challenge a little bit more and go up one level with the, the vibration frequency just to see if I can elicit that reflex. And if she still doesn't have a, a reflex, then that's great. I wanna challenge it even more with a little bit more vibration. So I might do a little bit more just to see if I get it, but I'm not gonna spend more than really a minute on that side. And then I'm gonna switch to the other side. 
and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So about this side, I'm gonna do 10 X's, and I'm gonna come down here about three times to get the hand fully integrated. But a lot of times you'll see one side that might be more reflexive than the other. After that, we're gonna have her go on her back. We're gonna put that right there. And we're going to work the reflexes on the left foot. So this is the Babinski reflex. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna scrape the bottom of the foot like that. So you can see how she had a little bit of withdrawal, but a positive reflex would be this toe comes up and then it kind of spreads out like that. You'll see that on a baby, on a newborn, that's a normal, but then it should start to go away, you know, six to 12 months. 12 months is usually when you want to see it gone. Uh, sometimes it'll linger on a little bit, but once the feet get more input, it starts to get integrated. So we're going to do that for about 20 reps or about an, even a minute. And then if I don't see the reflex, again, I might put up the vibration intensity a little bit to see if I can elicit that reflex. And if, of course, if it's a patient that can communicate with you or a person that's able to communicate, um, I can ask that person, hey, does that feel less sensitive? Yes. Yeah, so it feels less sensitive. After about a minute, it should definitely feel less sensitive. And then I'm gonna go ahead and test this one now. And also do the same procedure here on this side. So. You might see some movement. Does that feel ticklish? Does yeah. it feel, yeah. So it might just be kind of like a more, just a ticklish feeling as well, but that will start to go away. They will start to kind of integrate that feeling and that, that input and start to be more relaxed with it. So we're gonna do about a minute on this side. And again, I'm seeing a stronger reflex on this side and we're trying to stimulate right brain anyway. So I'm gonna do the left side of the body pretty much twice as much. So I'm gonna do this one again still pretty good. Yep. So again, if it's gone and they can verify it, if it's an infant or a brain injury where they can't communicate, you might not really know. So you're just gonna go through, just do twice as much on one side that your doctor recommends. The next reflex we're looking for to integrate is the spinal gallant reflex. And that's gonna be, uh, as, a, as a person that's able to get in this position, perfect, just get in the hands and knees position as you go to do this uh, uh, exercise. If it's a baby, you're just gonna have to hold your, your baby or if they're small enough in a position where you can get access to their spine. So go ahead and come on over here and you can see Megan. You're going to start with one side or the other. Uh, I'm gonna have it on low vibration just to see if we can elicit it. We're gonna start almost up from the shoulder blade and come down. So you can see that little flex. If it's a positive reflex, it can be sometimes very obvious. She's gonna flex to that side You'll see this in infants, okay? That's kind of their little reflex uh, in theory to kind of help them get out of the uh, birth canal during the birthing process. We're gonna compare both sides since we're here. And what I like to do too, is I like to kind of work my way out a little bit more lateral because that sense tends to be a little more sensitive. So I might work my way out this way and then I'll go back. But in general, I'm looking for that reflex. I can see that she has a little bit more on the left. Can you tell about that you have more on that left yeah. there, Jaden? So I'm gonna increase the intensity there, see if we can get a little bit more. Yeah, so she's got a little bit of reflex on this side. So we're actually gonna focus on that side. You can also use this other tip. I like to use that as well. So we can use that and you can kind of even get a little bit more surface area on that side. Does that feel a little bit less? Yeah. So she, again, within a minute, you should feel that starts to get better integrated. And then I can test this side. This might even feel more sensitive. Does that feel more or less? It does, more now. Now this one will feel more because we've integrated this side. So we've kind of desensitized the, the left and now we got to work this right side in a little bit for 30 seconds or so. What do you think? Feels better. Okay, and then we're going to do both together. Like use the, using this part so we can get both. How does that feel? Good. No problems with that? We're gonna ramp it all the way up, just kind of give her one. Does it feel even? Feels even. Okay, and again, how do you know if they can't communicate like that? You're gonna be able to see that reflex and also go with what your doctor says. If like, even if you don't see the reflex, we still wanna stimulate. That's still shunting blood to that part of the brain. You're getting activity there, sensory input. Um, we're gonna still focus on twice as much on the left. So I might do uh, two sets, one minute at a time on the left, one set for a minute on the right, three times a day minimum. For the tonic labyrinth reflex, you're gonna basically do what's called a roly-poly exercise. Uh, so essentially she's going to grab her knees, she's gonna lift her head, and sometimes 
especially after a brain injury, especially with kids, they can't lift their head. This is part of the process. You passively can move them this way and that's okay. That's, that's where we start. So she's gonna come up. We're gonna try to get the forehead kind of right to the knees. Then we're gonna come back and then we're gonna come out, try to hold and then come back down slow, back up, hold. And we're gonna do that 10 reps, very simple.